In a world full of controversy, I think there's one thing we all can agree on, and that is to protect our eyes. That's why we stock so many different glasses, goggles, face shields, that sort of thing. Those are all PPE. Today we want to talk about setting up your shop to help somebody if the unexpected happens and they do get something in their eye. I'm here at our manufacturing center where we manufacture our bandsaw blades. The hazards these guys face here are not of the harsh chemical variety, acid in the eyes, anything like that. These guys are dealing more with metal, dust, that type of thing getting in the eye. And as you can see behind me, we have this eyewash station clearly marked here and these two bottles of eyewash. Now, your eyewash station may look very similar to this, and I'd like to point out the bag containing the eyewash cup. Most manufacturers have moved away from the eyewash cup, and when you replace yours, they may look just like this. Nothing's wrong, it's just that's the way most manufacturers have gone. Now, no, nothing really changes. You just pop the top off and you squeeze it in your eye like so. But I do want to point out there's expiration dates on every bottle. This particular bottle, August of 2017. This bottle, April of 2017. So to keep in mind, if the seal's broken or if the expiration date has been reached, you really do need to replace them. The OSHA regulations state, and I quote, where the eyes or body of any person may be exposed to injurious, corrosive material, suitable facilities are for quick drenching or flushing of the eyes and body shall be provided within the work area for immediate emergency use. For most manufacturing situations, that means you should have an eye wash station such as this or similar in the work area, as well as signage depicting where it's at. However, if you're working with caustic chemicals, that would fall under the ANSI Z358.1, which we'll cover in another video. Rules are very different there. At Hub, we have many different types of eyewash stations. The three bottle, two bottle, one bottle, as well as the latest edition, the Biomed. It's a pressurized eyewash that, as you can see here, sprays directly onto the eye. Don't forget, proper signage. Also, these bottles must be protected from extreme temperatures. You wouldn't want to be the guy who just got something in his eye, stumbling towards the eyewash bottle only to find out it's frozen solid or it's empty because somebody didn't replace it after it was used. As I said, it's important to keep spares on hand. So this week, when you purchase one of these single wash eyewash stations, we'll send you a replacement spare on the house when you use code eyewash. Don't forget to use the code eyewash and don't forget to have a fantastic week. You're the boss!